Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your daily update on Digibyte. Digibyte US dollar. Today I don't have good news. Though I'm it's very difficult to uh, figure out where the next target would be because we are at the next target. If we check um, Digibyte, Digibyte I'm going to show you shortly has gone down. Now uh, let me, before I continue, just uh, specify, clarify that this is only paper trading advice. So I would never want you to put your money where I'm saying money may go unless you play on a paper trading account. If you want to know how to play paper trading, check the video in the top right corner. I'll show you exactly how to set up TradingView for free, the free account, and create a paper trading account and trade with paper money, well actually fake money. Uh, I also show you how to set up my candle scanner which you can download for free from me along with uh, if you get it I will also send you my strategies by email I will, sh I will share with you videos on, on, on the forex market but it doesn't really make any difference any technique is applicable to any kind of market above all between cryptocurrency and um, and forex there's not much difference actually so very similar both the candle scanner and the trading view link are in the description and in the pinned comment below but let's begin now we see that the price today is really low right it's literally at its, at its lowest ever and the next target would be 0 0.0007 so we're talking about a huge drop a 10 a 10 times ish drop from where we are now okay not exactly 10 but almost 10 there's nothing we can see in the monthly and probably not in the weekly at this point according to what I'm, we are going to see in the next weeks i'm afraid that digibyte will not separate from bitcoin and yes this will happen and so it's probably not even the right time to enter at this point right why am i so pessimistic today well look at this and this was the support actually let me reveal the drawings see okay this actually i found this support somewhere else and the price really closed below that. Now, it also opened below that, even if it opened with a gap on a daily, still, it's not looking good. RSI has dropped below this white line. And MACD also is really going below. Now, I'm going to leave it here because we don't know what's gonna happen throughout the day maybe it will change and it will bounce here but it really looks like it's not making it and uh, it really is below any support ah so yeah uh, it looks like people entering here is not enough this candle this candle this candle they were not enough i mean many people bought it but still it's being shorted so all the people who bought it probably between the top and here are still shorting it are still shorting it are still closing their accounts possibly for a loss um well if digibyte is here to stay as a currency and by the way hopefully today on my website i'm going to publish um, an article about digibyte and I will give you the link tomorrow just to make sure that it's in there so because I would like your feedback then I've been doing my due diligence so if Digibyte is here to stay that's not bad news but it's obviously short-term horrible news because I don't see Digibyte recovering until probably Bitcoin will recover and by the way Bitcoin today looks like it's not going to retest anything and it's going to drop but I haven't done my analysis yet so I need to confirm that but it doesn't look good anyway and digibyte may follow it and if it follows it well we already know not good news let me go and check the six hours if there are any reversal patterns in here 
Well, indeed, there is a bear, a bullish, sorry, a bull harami here after this candle, but still, um, I don't see any any divergence on RSI, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to keep dropping. But yeah, at the moment, I'm very concerned because of this candle here that closed below the resist the support and even though the next candle up closed above it this one is still being below it's it's not finished it's three and a half hours but th this one did and theoretically because this one did we are literally confirming that the market is bearish and uh, yeah so really not good news at all not good news at all i wasn't expecting that to be honest and at this point I wouldn't know whether it's worth entering or not it may be it may be but I would not risk it if it was me trading I would not risk at this point really let's see the three hours and uh, again we had this hammer but then it's been rejected now we made a gap here which is good meaning that this could be the price where we don't want anything in the three hours to close below to. So this could be this could be the gap. Uh, so literally, actually, let me make the gap thing. I don't use it anymore, but it's probably still here. Let me see if there is a template for it. Nope, but I can make it like that. Uh, so we don't want the price to close below the green area. We want the price to stay above the green area or inside, but not below that. Okay, we don't want to see closures below that. Let's see, I'm not particularly optimistic in RSI is not showing divergence. MACD is, uh, but still, and we have also, this is not a bull engulfing candle, obviously, because there is a gap. So this E is incorrect, but again, I need to perfecting my candle scanner. It just gives you a visual whenever something may be something you need to confirm. In this case, this is not. This, for instance, to me is more of a shooting star rather than an inverted hammer. But because of the trend sensitivity, it is shown as an um, inverted hammer, but now it's a shooting star, for instance. So we are between a gap, which is definitely stronger than the shooting star, and a shooting star. Let's see, possibly we will see a reversal here but I really don't know whether this is going to be a good reversal that will bring it all the way up or not. Let me check the hour. And thankfully, this is not related to the Bitcoin pair with Digibyte. So in here as well, we have a reversal, but there's, not, there's no confirmation. Actually, there is denial, but then there is a gap. And so far, nothing has closed below this gap, which is different, it's even broader. So yeah, let's go quickly, Digibyte uh, Bitcoin on Poloniex, and it's probably still there exactly. And maybe, maybe this is it. So yesterday I was asked if I think it's going to drop to 80. No, I doubt it. I think it's probably not even maybe going to drop any more than this. Um, we need to see, but... We, need, we will need to check what, Bitcoins do, what Bitcoin does. With, uh, if it does any... Re, um, retest of the $6,500 or if it goes through below them which looks like it's about to happen so yeah just to recap Digibyte US dollar needs to show that it's able to stay above this line now and I'm not completely sure in short terms time in shorter time frames it seems like it will but still, this one is undeniable, and to me, this one is stronger than anything else. And the price, in my opinion, is just going to drop. We need to see. 
and uh, as for the Digibyte Bitcoin, I do believe instead that possibly it would just rally from now on. So I don't even expect necessarily to drop more than that. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though I bring very bad news for Digibyte. Um, the, really, the, the target would be very, very low, like 0 0.0007. So we need to, to lose like other uh, 8, 0 0.008 points is a lot right now well anyway we will need to see well, let's see tomorrow how it goes today i'm not feeling bullish at all uh, have a good day and i will see you tomorrow with another update bye bye thanks for watching